Okay, let's go over this problem. Number 16. Last one. Just for today. Um, hmm. Notice you don't have everything in sine and cosine, in terms of sine and cosine, so it makes it difficult. So I can, oh, I almost forgot. All right, no problem. Um, let's see, I can take this cotangent of x and rewrite that as cosine over sine. So let's do that first. So we have cosine of x times cosine of x over sine of x, which I could go ahead and simplify and kind of clean that up. That will be cosine squared of x over sine of x. All that divided by the denominator, which is 1 minus sine of x. All right. Uh, let's see what we're going to do next. Okay. Um, oh, I almost forgot. That's still equal to 3. Um, notice now you have everything in so sine and cosine, but I can write cosine squared x in terms of sine. But I would clean up a little bit because now it's kind of a mess. So let's clear that fraction. I'm going to multiply by 1 minus sine of x. Okay, seems like a lot, but over here it just cancels. So I'm going to write it up here. So you're going to have, and I'm going to go ahead and write, let's uh, finish write it out. Cosine squared of x over sine of x equals 3 times 1 minus sine of x. Let's go ahead and just leave this. Don't distribute yet. I think you're probably going to be able to do something here. Um, cosine squared of x, that's an identity. Um, you got to start remembering these, but um, this one is really just going to be uh, 1 minus uh, sine squared of x. So you're going to have 1 minus sine squared of x all over sine of x is equal to 3 times 1 minus sine of x. Okay, something beautiful getting ready to happen. This 1 minus sine of x, that's a difference of two squares. And they say, what am I talking about? Just to show you over here, um, if I had a squared minus b squared, that's going to factor to a plus b times a minus b. Same thing. 1, over here you can write as 1 squared, and you have sine x squared. Um, so that's going to be 1 plus sine x, 1 minus sine x in the numerator, all over sine x equals 3 times 1 minus sine x. Let the games begin. Uh, let's see what's next. Okay, um, here what I would do, technically going to multiply everything by, watch this, 1 over 1 minus sine x. So I'll say, wow. Because over here, the 1 minus sine x cancels. And over here, also, 1 minus sine x cancels. So you're going to have 1 plus sine x over sine x x and that's equal to three beautiful so now watch this this is beautiful and i have one over sine x plus sine x 
over sine x and equals 3. Sine x over sine x is 1. So then I have 1 over sine x plus 1 plus 3. So 1 over sine x. Run out of room again. Need more space. Plus 1 equals 3. And now I'm going to go to another board. One over sine x plus one equals three. Uh, I can subtract one on both sides. One over sine x equals two. Now we're there. That's the way you're talking about we're there. You can clear the fraction by multiply by sine x. You can do cross multiply. Um, oh, let's cross multiply. Put that over 1. Cross multiply here. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus 2 sine x equals 1. Divide by 2. Sine x equals a half. Now, you just do the inverse sign x is equal to sine inverse of a half. Awesome. Hmm. Question is when is sine a half? You got to visualize your unit circle. This is positive a half. So it's going to be in the first quadrant or the second quadrant. Sine is a half right here and my right here is pi over 6 sine is a half remember it's square root of 3 over 2 comma half and it's also a half here so 5 pi over 6 okay those are your two inverse sine values and remember they're not directly across from each other so you can't just do pi in your answer will be 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n and pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. And let me double check. And that will be your solution. That's it. Back to football. <laughs>